Where we sit highly impacts who we are attracted to for yeah. friendship and relationship partner. So we see That's with crazy. research, isn't this crazy? We see with research that if I'm sitting in that left chair, it doesn't matter if I'm 13 or 50. If I'm sitting in that left chair, there's a higher chance I'm gonna be attracted to unconsciously to somebody who actually sits in the right chair or the left chair. Isn't that so crazy? The right, yes. The right chair, just explain the right chair for a moment. Right just chair, so they are, they're cocky. They almost appear uber confident. Okay, a bit cocky, they're arrogant, they have a superior attitude. So when it comes to conflict, they're not going to apologize. It's all your fault. They're not going to take any ownership. They uh, they have it. They feel like they're superior. This left person feels Got they're it. inferior and this person feels like they're equal. So the inferior would that would make sense. You would attract the yes. superior to make yourself feel yes. more superior. Right. And the superior unconsciously looks for the inferior to elevate them. Oh, to make continue to make them feel. Yes. Oh, Fascinating. Okay. okay, well, what happens yes. if you make a marriage choice yes. at 20? Yes, yes, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about when people's like, oh, they've changed. So let's play this out. So let's say, again, somebody's 20 years old. They get married. They marry their partner. They're over there. They're like, holy crap, this isn't feeling good. But all of a sudden, let's say they're on a personal discovery journey. So now they're going to they're going to take books. They're going to listen to fabulous podcasts like yours. They're going to re, you know, read books and attend seminars, maybe do therapy. And all of a sudden, they get themselves to that middle chair. Well, what's yes. going to happen is there's going to be massive conflict. Yes. Yes. And what yes. will happen is, I'll tell you a story. Actually, it was funny. So I was doing a parenting conference. I mean, I do mostly leadership and business. Uh, and educational conferences. And this one actually was an educational conference. This is like years ago. And I had a couple that was sitting front row, Mindy, and they were frantically taking notes. And I was explaining the three chairs. And afterwards, the couple comes up to me. They're like, oh my God, I'm listening to you. And I'm like listening to everything that you're actually saying. And we came here to understand our children and our whole marriage is now up in front of us. And they basically said that when we got married and, and the guy, the guy was actually telling me this. He goes, I, my wife was sitting there. I was sitting there. And I said, so what happened? She yeah. goes, well, she moved to the middle. I said, then what happened? He goes, she said, you come to counseling or we're done. I'm not going to put up with this. I'm not going to put up with your, with your, this not like this nonsense anymore. So he said, yeah, fine, I'll go. So she put her foot down. She now understands she is worthy and she's not going to put up with it. And that changed yes. the whole dynamic. He got himself to counseling and I said, I'm like listening to them and like, this is crazy. And I said, so where do you sit now? He goes, I see us both sitting in the middle chair and I see all three of our daughters sitting in the middle chair. And so if we were to gamify this, the yes. goal is for everybody to get to the middle chair. Yes. If we can get to the middle chair, now we're having really healthy interactions Now we're having with healthy, each other. right. And so for example, if I'm coaching a client and they want to get themselves to a middle chair and they're single, I tell them, hold off on the dating scene. Let's yes. get you to that middle chair and then I will help you on that dating scene. Do not date until you're in that middle chair because if you're not in that middle chair, you're going to be attracted to people in that right chair. So, so smart. Isn't that interesting? So so yeah. that's how it affects relationships and, you know, uh, dating as it relates to friendship. So we've, you and I have talked about this before, how as women, women friendships are amazing and they can be tricky. Yeah. And um, you and I have had many conversations about this. And so as we evolve and we grow and hopefully we get ourselves to that middle chair, what we see as a healthy friendship is going to look very different yes if we're in that yes, left chair it does. so the same thing happens in friendship if i'm sitting in this chair i'm going to be unconsciously attracted to people and friends who sit here or here if i'm yes. sitting in this chair i'm unconsciously going to be attracted to people who actually sit here it makes so much sense yes and i'm thinking of all the relationships i have in my life that maybe I, like aren't what i they used to be and what i'm realizing is oh i switch chairs on yes them. Yes, and you, I change the them. You, you change yeah. the dynamic. You change the dynamic, yeah. 